and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over the best players at each position in Madden 20 right now, guys. So, have a few updates to the list as we've gotten some pretty overpowered players the last few days, specifically two guys with a nice little addition of uh, some abilities that we might not have had prior. Now, these guys have been playing really, really great. One of them's played well for me, and other that I've heard some pretty good things about, but. I'm gonna get into the video guys i made some adjustments to the orders of this list as i've seen fit and i'm even gonna throw in some extra at the end so guys before we get into the video make sure to go down below give this video a big thumbs up subscribe turn that notification boys as per usual and comment down below if you guys have needed any help with anything i want to add to this list now before we get into the video guys it is out of 10 like usual i did make some adjustments to the older order as i've seen fit like i said but let's head over to the auction block let's go one by one as per usual you guys already know the deal now Coming in at number 10 on the list. Guys, until he gets outdone, he still has to be on there for the greatest speed, height, catch, and traffic combo that we have in Madden at a 170k, which is a steal. Calvin Johnson. You just can't compete with that route running, that speed, that catching, that jumping, and that height all in one body, and that strength, having a 79 strength of wide receiver. Guys, like you can't compete with that. Chemmed up, powered up, and everything. Insane still until he gets outdone by another wide receiver, maybe like a Julio Jones. Even that, that's still in like six foot two, six foot three. Until we get that, even then, Calvin might be out. There's nothing to uh, counter him. The only thing is, there will be a tight end Calvin coming out pretty soon. So, in that case, you might have to replace him if you want to get tight end Calvin. But until then, still one of the greatest cards in Madden by easily the best wide receiver, probably. Now, as far as right up to linebacker, guys, coming at number nine is Jadavion Clowney. Until Lawrence Taylor drops, Clowney's got the cake. I mean, you, you can't you can't debate 91 speed, 94 excel, 95 ball action, and 96 power move. So I gotta know. He's an power up and gonna be an elite, elite top tier pass rusher and an elite top tier run stopper with an elite top tier athleticism. Like it's unreal. He's literally baby, he's baby LT. Once Lawrence Taylor comes out, though, he'll definitely be better than Lawrence Taylor. I mean, Lawrence Taylor will definitely be better than Jadavion Clowney. But until then. We're still working on what we got, and that still is that he is one of the best guys in the game. And our quarterback, coming at number eight on the list, Lamar Jackson is on here. Now, the only reason I have him lower is because I know a new one's coming out pretty soon that will be better. And this Lamar has still some deficiencies. Now, here's the thing. At this point in the game, most players that you should be wanting are players that can do it all. Like Clowney can do it all. Mahomes can do it all. Lamar still can't do it all. It takes a very specific team and skill set to do it all. So, the only way he makes Lamar can do it all He's realistically, if you put go deep on him and you put all the deep chems on him and you end up getting his throw power to, powered up and everything, it's like a 96 and his throw deep is like a 95. But even then, his throw mid still kind of sucks. So he's still going to have be, be deficient somewhere. And that, that's not good in a game where like where everyone's so fast and so like overpowered now. It's not good to have a card that might be deficient where he can make some errant throws. Because in this game right now, you got to be pretty on the point to be able to not make errors. But Lamar's still super fast. You can't discount that speed. He makes up with what he doesn't have, with what he does have. But coming in at number six on the list, or number seven, I should say, is Christian Okoye. Still on this list, guys. Fullback, like I said, if you use him properly, he's a top player in the Madden. That combo of blocking and speed, like you might not notice, he's like an unsung hero. He's the kind of guy that you won't buy because he's too expensive and you don't use him, but you do use him. On pitches, on stretch, on everything, he's going to be able to hold a block, which is important because most fullbacks nowadays, they're not even fast enough to get out to the block in time. You usually outrun the fullback, but he will get out ahead of you arc properly and he will hold the block he will lay someone out he can even you throw the ball to him he's super fast he can make a big play you can do fullback dives with him you can even fake him with a gun split close as the second running back so much you can do with this christian okoye i really do love this card now will i buy him for that price absolutely not he'd have to be power passed or eventually get a redux which with it being the last series um update i really don't know how they're going to be handling the whole redux situation hopefully they just do it separately as a separate side tier kind of thing next is mean joe green coming at number six on the list Mean Joe Green, guys, he's just an all-around defensive tackle. Like I said, he can do it all. He can block shed. He can stop the run. He can rob. He can pass move. Oh my God. He can pass rush star. Mix up those two words. And he's athletic for a defensive tackle with almost 99 strength, with good play rec, with good tackle. He can do everything. Again, at this point in the year, you gotta have guys who can do literally everything, and that's exactly what he is. Now coming in at number five on the list, another guy that's literally he's he's a do it all kind of guy. Well, Byron Jones went up in price a lot. Night Train Lane, 
the do-it-all cornerback guys he's unreal he can do everything he's super athletic power can come up he gets like a 97 speed or even 98 which i'm adding he gets maxed out zone close to maxed out man great press he can press he can play zone he can play man he's super fast he can jump he's agile he's tall and he has like a 92 hit power or a 94 hit power guys you can't beat that he can hit, he plays like he's like a linebacker that can play cornerback and he can even return all picks like Deion Sanders. Super athletic. Nitrin Lane is just pretty much a do-it-all cornerback. That's what I'm saying. Like, do-it-all kind of guys have to be up on here. Next on the list is another quarterback. And it's supposed to be Randall Cunningham. Now, coming at number four, Randall Cunningham is one of the newer do-it-all type quarterbacks. Because here's the thing with Randall Cunningham. His mid might suck too. But because his throw power and throw deep is so good, you don't have to you don't have to waste all your cams and stuff on deep. You can go middle. So you can even put you can put West Coast on him. So with John Madden passing and West Coast and powered up, you can probably get his mids like a 94, 95. And now he has 99 throw power, more than likely powered up with John Madden passing. He's 99 throw deep. He has like 96 throw short or 97 throw short. And he's like a 94, 95 throw mid. So everything's pretty well rounded with his throw power and throw deep 99, which is what Lamar still wasn't getting. With 99 throw on the run, with good on the pressure, and he gets human joys to get quarterback. He's a do it all quarterback. The only thing with him is I feel like another better do it all corner quarterback will be coming pretty soon. Which is why I haven't went all in on him just yet. But I think he's definitely up there. Now let's get some of the newer guys. Some more do-it-all kind of guys. And that is Ed Reed. The new Ed Reed is pretty insane, guys. Not going to lie. I've heard some really good things about him. He can do everything. Literally everything on the field. You compare him to Pat Tillman. Blows him away. That speed is just a huge difference. That excels a huge difference. The tackle sucks. But everything else, like what matters, like the man in zone. He's going to be the best zone coverage guy on the field. He's a ball hawk. He's gonna be. You can't throw near him. He's gonna. You're gonna have issues throwing near him. He's gonna be the fastest guy on the field. One of the most best excel guys on the field. One of the best man coverage guys in the field at safety. And he's gonna have good hit power. Hit power is not obviously 99, but you compare him to Troy Palomalu, and if you powered him up, obviously Palomalu is a lower overall, but he's gonna he's gonna be better than Palomalu just strictly off of that zone and man. And if you power him up. He beats Palomalo in what really mattered, which is the hit power is going to be tied, and then he beats him everywhere else. Now, Palomalo is still great. That's why I said he's been one of the best defensive players all year. But Ed Reed. Ed Reed's pretty insane. He could do everything on the field, which is what I like at this point in the year. Next, guys, is a guy that I've been waiting for a good version of him all year. Barry Sanders. Now, that's a do-it-all type of running back, in my opinion. Barry Sanders is going to be one of the fastest guys in the field. Best excel in the field. Better carrying than usual than 94 with all my cams and everything. Decent enough catching, great elusiveness. Now, the truck I don't care about. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't truck. I've never, I don't think all year I've even clicked that button down. I really don't. And then break tackle 99. All I care about is break tackle, speed, excel, and chems. He gets four abilities. He gets human joystick, inside zone guru, outside zone guru, and he gets evasive. You don't need to say much more. Like that human joystick is just such a big advantage. You need that at this point in the game. I think it's such a big advantage. I'm super hyped to have this Barry Sanders. Only 330, really not bad. I use my power past them though to make it a little bit easier on myself coin wise. So I didn't have to spend all my coins. I recommend if you want to try them out, just go use the power pass on them. Very simple. Test them out. And if you, if you don't like them, luckily for me, I've had Barry Sanders powered up all year. So I just have to throw them on. It was very simple actually. I was going to power them down a while ago and I never did. Happy I didn't because it ended up paying off like dividends for me. And now finally on the list guys, number one, Patrick Mahomes. Now here's the, he's the official do it all guy. First off, he gets a skate artist. That's all you need. He can run. He has 99 throw power. He can throw the ball as far as any as hard as anyone on the field. Throw short, gonna be 99. Kemmed up and powered up. Throw mid, gonna be close to 99. Powered up and kemmed up. Throw deep, gonna be close to 99. So you can throw deep, you can throw mid, you can throw short, and you can throw hard. And he can run. Throw under pressure, gonna be 99. So you can throw any ball under pressure. Throw on the run. 99. So you can throw any ball on the run. And he gets dashing dead eye. He has perfect accuracy on the run. He has gunslinger, harder and faster velocity throws. He has the hardest throws already. He can throw the ball deep, mid, short. He can run with the skate partners. Guys, he's just a glitch. He can do literally everything. This Mahomes can do everything on the field. And until they release a golden ticket quarterback that can even somewhat compete with him, he's going to still take the cake as the best player in Madden. Like these stats were, he was before his time. We didn't realize it back then, but this guy is absolutely insane. He still to this day is the best car probably Madden. And he just makes, he makes every throw. He changed my offense. When I had Lamar Jackson, his throw power was just too bad. That so I was at a point where I was playing Madden differently because I couldn't make certain window throws because it would just get picked. Mahomes gets everything and everywhere, and it just makes it you can play a lot more aggressive with him, which is what I like. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions or add-ons to the list. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.